Hi friends, welcome to Ova Studies YouTube channel. Many people are asking me the question, they want to migrate into Azure Data Engineering but they don't know where to start and especially when they are seeing my channel, they don't know which playlist to first go through and then next what. So they are struggling with the sequence and this video is to help them like which playlist they can consider first and then slowly how they can navigate. I will try to compose these things in the video description as well. You can go through them. Uh, firstly, when you go to YouTube and uh, when you search Wafa Studies there, you can find Wafa Studies YouTube channel there at the top. Navigate to the Wafa Studies YouTube channel and go to the playlist. And under playlist, you have so many playlists created by me. I have, I have a lot of playlists there, right? and uh, from this playlist which ones to start and uh, where to go over right that's the question before you start any playlist here i would suggest you guys to have an idea about sql first okay so i don't have a sql playlist here but uh, in youtube there are so many sql videos for example could venkat sql videos if you search could venkat channel there is a sql playlist there you can go through that playlist so basic SQL understanding is very much needed for Azure Data Engineering. So please uh, have that uh, idea of SQL. If you don't know also, you can start from here, but parallelly have the SQL understanding. Uh, and then once you have, so you are learning SQL. Now, if you already know what is cloud, what is Azure and all, then you no need to go through this playlist, Azure Basics playlist. You can directly start something else. But even Azure is completely new to you, that the Azure word and the code cloud terminologies. So first preference will be watch this Azure Basics playlist from my channel. And when I open this playlist, you see couple of videos there. Try to quickly watch them. This will give you a basic idea what is Azure and, what, and Azure Cloud. Once you got an idea about that, basically uh, you can start with Azure Data Factory playlist. You see this Azure Data Factory playlist here. So you can start with that Azure Data Factory playlist first. Uh, Azure Data Factory don't need any coding. So it is easy to follow. So follow the Azure Data Factory playlist. And uh, once you, so Azure Data Factory helps you to create the data pipelines. Uh, basically taking data from one place and putting it somewhere else, ETL pipelines. So SQL, then Azure Basics playlist. Uh, if you already know what is Azure, no need to go through that. Then Azure Data Factory playlist. Uh, and uh, for Azure Data Factory, I have some Azure Data Factory real-time scenarios playlist as well here. So try to watch them as well. Okay, try to watch them as well. Now, Data Factory helps you to create the pipelines. This is fine. But in Azure Data Engineering, you, you don't only create the pipelines to copy data from source to sync. Many a times you need to transform the data. That means uh, you have a data in certain fashion. You wanted to take subset of a data or transform the data according to your needs. So for that, you need you can learn either this Azure Synapse or I also have a Azure Databricks playlist at the top. Okay, so let me show you that. So either Azure Databricks or Azure Synapse. Uh, you see here Azure Databricks. Okay, so start any of these. Okay, uh, both are both are good only, uh, but Databricks is not fully covered in my, but it will help you to quickly uh, get comfortable with Databricks. On top of that, you can explore further more online too. Uh, but the thing is, even in a Synapse or even in a Azure Databricks, you actually write some code there. Uh, you write code in Python language using a PySpark library. So then the so once the data factory completes for you, Python language uh, is important. If you know already Python programming, no need to go through this Python playlist. If you don't know, try to go through this Python playlist at a high level. Uh, if I open this Python playlist, don't watch the videos from here to here if you want. You can you can you can skip all these videos, you know, from 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 maybe video number eight to two. Uh, yeah, from maybe video number uh, 8 or 9, from here 8 to 2, maybe till 24, all that videos you can skip because those are about operators, everybody knows them. So by skipping them, rest of the Python playlist you can go through. But if you already know a little bit of a programming, uh, then that is fine. Uh, 
no need to go through the python playlist you can ignore the python playlist and you can directly start with the PySpark playlist here you see i have something called a PySpark uh, uh, playlist you see this one okay so this PySpark playlist helps you a lot because all the data transformation logic whatever we write inside the databricks or synapse will be happen using a PySpark so PySpark playlist is important so SQL, Azure Basics, Azure Data Factory then Synapse or Databricks but PySpark is must okay if you know Python if you don't know Python then Python as well okay so but if your intention is more towards the Microsoft technologies instead of Databricks maybe focus on the Synapse more um, but learning Databricks is always plus one to you because irrespective of the cloud Databricks is available even in Amazon and cloud Google services so it is good to already uh, always have a Databricks skills as well so with so with that you will be more comfortable uh, data factory and uh, either synapse or databricks along with the PySpark. then you can explore the fabric microsoft fabric if you want to continue with the microsoft uh, services so for microsoft fabric there are two playlists one is this one microsoft fabric and another one is microsoft fabric analytics engineer so go through both go through this mainly because uh, this covers a lot a uh, lot of uh, real time scenarios various types of the workloads available in fabric and everything i have covered there so try to go through them that is very much helpful for you guys okay so this is the sequence start with uh, basic sql uh, if you don't know also start with the data factory here or azure basics here parallelly explore the sql offline somewhere then navigate to synapse or databricks but you need a programming skill there so python you have to learn from my playlist itself if you already know skip that navigate to the PySpark where you will understand how to actually uh, write the code for the data transformation either in synapse or databricks and then fabric okay so these are the basic uh, way to uh, or basic things to learn but additional advantage will be if you learn this azure powershell that is more helpful to you guys because Azure PowerShell and Azure PowerShell only one or two videos I made it uh, try to watch them because PowerShell we will use more uh, when you work in Azure day to day right be whatever the role you may be Azure developer you may be Azure data engineer every case you will be using Azure PowerShell and Azure REST APIs one or another way so try to watch these things and uh, even this custo query language also people use uh, if you work on a Azure or like there is something called log analytics and all inside the Azure so if you are more extensively going to work on a Azure especially with a Microsoft kind of a client you use custo query language a lot so try to watch them so this is the basic sequence I hope you got an idea and uh, I would encourage everybody who is watching this data engineering try to have some basic understanding about AI things as well because in future whatever the niche you work on you should know the AI so I am I created few videos in AI and I will be continuously creating few more videos in UI in future too so try to watch the AI videos also no, not too important but it is definitely going to play a significant role near future in your career so whatever the AI related videos I will post try to watch them and at least try to get a high level idea about what is happening there so I think this will help where to start and all and you see this logic app logic app is also important because you will be it's not about data engineer whatever the role you work on Azure you use logic apps and key balls to watch them as well as a camp complementary so to to recap uh, SQL Azure basics data factory along with the real time scenarios synapse along with the real time scenarios Python and PySpark if you know Python uh, leave it directly start with the PySpark then the fabric videos uh, Microsoft fabric playlist and fabric analytics engineer so this is more important fabric analytics engineer uh, this covers very detailed way okay so that's it in this video thank you for watching have a nice day